No plane to no US. I ain't going to no politically uh, inclined country that's in any war zone. It's common sense, that is, isn't it? Is it? Well, well you're going to see no. here shortly a, a, a hyperinflation uh, somewhere between probably about a year and a half from now. It's going to be unbelievable because the total the total debt of the United States, which no one talks about, first of all, we have $53 trillion in dollars floating around the earth, the earth. $53 trillion. The United States owns the citizens of the country with Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, $63 trillion. So the real debt of the United States is roughly $120 trillion. Uh, a trillion dollars is a is a thousand billion dollars. Yeah, you can just print that though and cover that. Well, that's what we've done. We've we've printed up fourteen trillion dollars since Obama's been in office, and that's why in a year and a half there's going to be tremendous inflation because all those dollars are out there, but the effects of those dollars hasn't happened yet. It ain't so this coming back. It ain't huh? coming back. In. It's going out, but it ain't coming no, back no, in. Let me tell you something. No, let me tell you something. Let me, no, let me tell you something. One to, one, to the, one to the billions of dollars that print during Bush time. Nobody say nothing about that. Yeah, why, every time the come, why every time you come here, you got to bring up Obama, man? Obama spent more money than the last... <laughs> more. Listen, Obama break. spent more money than I World War I. Obama, man. Obama spent more money than every war since the first of the 20th century. Oh, right. He spent yeah. he spent more money than it took to go to the moon. He spent more money already, than World War Two. He spent if already, you combined all those events, he spent more he money than spent, all those events. Within yeah. two hundred days, in less than two hundred days, he spent more yeah. money than everybody combined. Yeah. yeah. He spent That's more money than all problem. the major <laughs> events of the twentieth century combined. I got, in two uh, in less uh, than uh, two hundred uh, days. Come here. You yes. got something to say about Obama. Yes. You got something to say about Obama. You still, no, hey, no, listen, no. the other day, you still haven't told me what Obama has done. No, 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 I'm still waiting you, for your response no, from the other day. You never said anything. He's no, doing no, what no, all no, the politicians no, do. No, fuck no, off. Fuck you, Bush, man. Just <laughs> meet, <laughs> talk, <laughs> talk <laughs> negotiate. Hey, what the fuck he did for you? What why are you mentioning Bush? I didn't even say the word Bush. I was not a fan no, of Bush. What about Bush? Whatever night you come hey, on, look, you talk look, Bush screwed things up. You talk about Obama. Why are you talking about the man, man? Give the man a chance. I'm g I gave him a chance. Fourteen hey, trillion dollars. Man. Hold on. Didn't Bush lose seventy-three trillion dollars? No, no. Know. Let's forget about that, yo. Let's no, forget there's about no seventy-three trillion dollars. But less than less than fucking uh, three hundred billion. Uh, I don't know Obama is spending too much fucking money. Spent, uh, Bush has spent uh, roughly, I think, uh, four trillion on the Iraq War. So right. four trillion yeah, was yeah. spent over an eight-year period on the Iraq War. Obama, in less than two hundred days, has spent fourteen trillion. Yeah, yeah. All right, let yeah. me ask you a question. Hold on, wait one second. Yeah, Would no. you prefer somebody spend that money what Obama spent righteously, or would you want somebody to spend what Bush has spent unrighteously? Oh, okay, here's the problem. The, the planet has been run by criminals for the last 300 years, but especially in the last, in the last 60 years, we have been under the influence of criminals. The mafia took over the world. Fuck you, president, my friend. The mafia took over the world. fuck the mafia. Why don't you run for president? I don't want to run for president. Who would want to run for that? You wouldn't get the fucking vote. I wouldn't. I wouldn't run for it. Why would anyone want to do it? Oh, what the right thing is to do, but don't fuck do. It. But come and criticize, you know? Come and criticize. Do something. I'm just telling you the it. truth that you have been no, the reason for this war. <laughs> come on, man! You want to come up here and fucking criticize on Skype? What the fuck are you doing, Skype? Not you a fucking thing. Would you please tell me what Obama has done? No, tell, tell me what he's done. Tell me what he's done. What has he no, done? Okay. No, Hey, well, no, no, he ain't done nothing great yet, but give him a fucking chance. What has he done? Why are you defending him so time? heavy? He hasn't done time, anything. At this time, when Bush first went for president, what did he do? Well, he hasn't, I'll tell what you what he, he hasn't done. He hasn't started an, an illegal war. No, I'll agree with that. 
There yeah, I'll go, agree but... with that. But we may be at war with the, China, the, the Koreans here any day, and it may be a nuclear war uh, because they're threatening to just blow up if, if we interfere with them at all. So they may be invading South Korea with a million-man army and blowing up uh, pieces of Japan or whatever else they can take out uh, with their nuclear, their newfound nuclear power. I mean, this is a this is a serious situation. Even the Chinese are not real comfortable. I totally agree. Well, so, man is destroying himself. So Obama may have a big uh, war on his hands here. That's well beyond Obama, Iraq. Obama's a cause. Obama's a cause. Obama's the one that does it. I didn't say he caused anything. So the Koreans are the chance, Koreans man. are doing it. I, Obama's not causing the Koreans to say they want to blow up the world. I didn't say anything about Obama. All I said is he he's going to have it on his hands. He is the president, right? I didn't say Obama's caused it. I didn't say Obama caused the the total financial picture either. Yo, bro. Yo, yo, listen, man. Listen, man. Every night, every night you come here, you're fucking on this Obama shit, man. Why? Why? Subject, I'd like to know why, why you, you get so upset subject, about. Man? Why are you why? on Obama subject? I could come why do you I get so upset about Obama? Obama, I could come Obama is, are, is your name Obama? <laughs> is your name Obama? I mean, I'm not coming in here and slamming you. Let him on these fish your first fucking year, man. Let him on these fish your first fucking year, man. But I'm not yeah. slamming you. And I just said, I just, I've asked you a couple well, nights. He's obviously to tell a supporter me. of Obama if he's defending him, so you can understand right, He's a that. heavy supporter, but I'm trying to find out why is he so, so upset oh, about it's, any well, negative. Because, because it's, according to him and his political views, he believes that he went, he ran for office and people voted for him uh, beyond the stigma. So it's a big thing for him to finally have one of his own in power, which he believes is power, and for you to slander somebody of his background that are not used to that kind of a position because the world wouldn't allow it, now has been given a chance to show the world what he can do or represent for his race. So when you slander Obama, it's like you're slandering the opportunity and the hope that every black person would aspire to in the kind of society that we live in. Can you yeah, understand but that? that? Isn't that a racist point of view? Well, it's not exactly racist, but it's the point that as somebody of color is finally been given a chance, and it's less than 200 days. So let's see what happens if we believe in politics. I have my own opinion, which it's no point expressing, because everybody has their own. So why should I um, try to... Um, put fire, put, put water on his fire. If he wants to have hope that a black president is finally going to make a difference in the world, because it is something of a phenomenal to happen, especially in America, because we never thought it would happen. So we're still getting over the fact that we never thought it would happen. And is it a conspiracy? There's lots of views. Well, I never had an opinion either way whether it was going to happen or not. I mean, I, it wasn't uh, something that I thought about, and. The fact that he, I mean, I, I like the fact that he beat Hillary. I don't, I can't imagine the country with Hillary as president, and uh, that's that's great, you know. But I, I, I am not going by that he uh, has a light green tint, or black or green, uh, you know, red or whatever color you want to call him. I'm going no, by the attitude of the person and and what they say. And basically, I saw a person who is a is a smooth talker win the election. That's yeah, what I saw, I, I, and I listened, and I I figured, okay, let's see what he's going right. to do. I'll tell you what one of my friends said that's into politics as well, and he happens to be a Jamaican, and he's deep into politics. And uh, he says that when I says that, it's probably a conspiracy. He says, "What are you talking about? The man was ordained to be." Prime Minister. It was time for change. It means something is going to happen. Something different. Hope for us. That's what he says. That's his opinion. He's politically inclined. So if you was to say anything against that, against that, my friend's president, he would say the same thing and react the same way to you because well, okay. he's. If destiny, I mean, there may be there may be something to 
Uh, well, based on my